Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther and today we're going to check it out some tomb shading in Spline. So we're going to test out on this box. As you can see, I got the light right here. It's on 1.80. Color is something a little bit more orange yellow. And I'm going to click on the box. Click here to the materials to the plus and I'm going to select the tomb. See if I rotate it. It's going to look like really metallic and I'm going to click on the tomb. As you can see, the position is on the camera. So if I rotate it, basically the lighter area is going to be all the time on the camera. You can change that to the lights. So it's going to arrange itself according to this uh, spotlight. In the shadow is dark, in the light area is light. And we're going to need to readjust these. I'm going to pull the white near the gray. And now we can start like recolor these. I'm gonna double, I'm gonna select the white, for example, click on the color. I'm gonna go with an orange or a yellow. Change the other one and so on and so forth. So in the shadow, I'm gonna leave it like black. As you can see, if I pull it, you're gonna create more a gradient effect. And you can change the lights. Good, I'm gonna go back. You can also increase the noise. And not but least, I'm going to add a click on the little plus and I'm going to click on the outline. And it's basically going to create some outline to it. Width, you can make it thicker. You got the trash hole. So it's, for me, the trash hole is somewhere around, somewhere around 30. If I'm going to decrease it, as you can see, it's going to show the rest of the line too. And, it should, and if you change up the directional light, as you can see, it's going to mix it up pretty nicely. And mainly this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.